never seen you people before in my life. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's not push it, right? I mean, you just came back to us, so let's get you out of here and get... No. Okay. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. I don't know you. Who are you people? It's pretty... Honey, it's okay. It's okay. You've been through an awful lot. It's all right. Just give yourself a minute and let the cobwebs clear. Okay. What are you talking about? Who are you? I'm your mother. And who are you? Oh, come on. You can't forget your old man. Right? I'm, uh... Baby. I'm your husband, Dante. No, you're not. My husband's name is Stavros Cassidy. Stavros Cassadine is my husband. I, I want to know where he is. No, honey. That man is not your husband. Whatever that bastard told you is a lie. No, you're a liar. Stavros! Stavros! No, 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 no. no. What did you do to me? We saved your life, Lulu. Sweetie, Stavros Cassadine is a kidnapper and much, much worse. Look at me. Look at me. I am your husband. No, stop saying that. I don't know you. Yes, you do. You do. Who do you think put this ring on my finger? You did. And this one on your finger? I'm the one who put that there. Stavros gave me that ring. No, he did not. I gave you that ring. On Christmas Eve, after we said our vows in a little church in Brooklyn, my whole family crashed the wedding. I don't remember. Well, we love each other very much. You remember that, don't you? Funny thing. You're Lulu Spencer Falconeri. You are my wife. We live in Port Charles, New York. That man, Stavros Cassidy. My husband. No, your kidnapper. He brought you here to take you away from me. He brought you here so he could. So you what? Keep you from me. But he couldn't because I came after you anyway. The same thing you would have done for me because we love each other. Okay? Dante, Dante, let's take a break, okay? Dante, just take a break. Come on, son. It's... Sweetheart. Just relax, take a breath. Come here, honey. I know that it doesn't feel like it right now, sweetheart, but everything's gonna be okay. All right? Just let her be. She's my wife. Well, she's my daughter. Well, have you told her that? Yes, and I'll tell her again when she calms down. But if you keep force-feeding her information, she's just gonna dig her heels in. And what if whatever this guy did to her sticks? And she doesn't remember who she is. What if she never remembers any of us? So? Don't jump to conclusions. She's in shock. Stavros messed with her head. There's no reason to believe that this is permanent. She doesn't recognize her own family, Luke. She doesn't have her memory back, but she's got her personality. We'll get the rest in time. We don't even know what Stavros did to her. Could have been... It doesn't matter damage. what he did to her. He's gone. It's over. And no Cassian ever got the better of Spencer. And I'm telling you... This is not the time when they will. I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is... Stavros. There's nothing else. I, I don't know who I am. It's all right. Because I do remember. You are my daughter, Lulu. Lulu? Yes. What kind of name is that? <laughs> well, I guess it's kind of a nickname, right? Uh, let's see. Um, your, your real name is Leslie Lou Spencer Falconeri. Mouthful. Well, there's a lot of history there. I named you a little bit for myself and a lot for my mother, Leslie. And we both love you so much, honey. I wish that meant something to me. Me too. What? <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta get you off this island now. Why? Because it's a graveyard full of bodies of people who had no love for you. Bodies? Stavros? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What am I saying? I am not sorry. The son of a bitch kidnapped you and brainwashed you into thinking that you were his wife. He's dead. And I'm glad he's dead. Okay, Luke, stop. 
Now, I know that you have no reason to trust us. You have very little reason to want to go with three people that you don't remember. But, sweetheart, there's absolutely no reason for you to stay alone here in this boneyard. So please, come with the people who love you. To, to go where? Where you'll be safe. Where you'll have a chance of getting better. Let us take you home. You can't make me do anything. I never could. You always went your own way. But maybe this time, just this once, you should go your own way with us before some other Cassidine freak shows up who wants to put us all on ice. But, but I'm Stavros' wife. I'll be safe here. No, the only person who believed that you were Stavros' wife was Stavros. The rest of his family... ...are going to want you out of the way. When you put it that way. Lulu agreed to come back to Port Charles with us. Yeah, I wasn't sure she was going to there for a while. Mm. She doesn't remember anything about her life. And she still looks at us like we're complete strangers. Yeah, I know. She's so confused. Or one minute Stavros has her locked up and frozen. Now we've got her on a plane with people she doesn't recognize. Going back to a home she doesn't remember. Well, as soon as we land, we should get her over to General Hospital and see if somebody can figure out what it is Stavros did to her memory. Yeah. But, you know, that in and of itself can be pretty terrifying, you know? Dealing with doctors who are trying to cure you is a painful reminder that you are broken. Lulu. It's a long flight from Athens, huh? I guess. Well, we're almost on the ground, and then when we are, we, we'll be in the city. And maybe seeing all that stuff will bring some memories back. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Well, she's his wife. He's entitled to talk to her. Yes, but she's overwhelmed. I don't want him to upset her any further. Laura, he loves her. He's walked through fire to find her. I know. And sometimes that kind of love can feel like pressure. Hey, Lulu. We used to spend a lot of time on the waterfront. In this one pier in particular. And I don't know, maybe again, maybe it's just something you'll see and, and some things will start to come back to you. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm really tired, David. It's uh, Dante. Right. But I, I'm still tired. You're not tired, Lulu. You're scared and confused, and when we get home, you're going to feel better. Port Charles, New York. Right. Where there's people who love you, and the rest of our families, and, and a bunch of friends. Yeah, but see, the only person that I can remember is the guy who supposedly kidnapped me. Okay, well, let's go with that. Let's stick with some positive things. We're gonna we're gonna get off this plane. We're gonna be back home. You're gonna remember things, and and you're gonna remember that we were happy together because of, especially right now because of our baby. Baby. What are you talking about? What baby? Are you?
Are you telling me that we have a kid together? No, no, we don't have a kid yet, but soon. Oh my God! What am I? Am I pregnant? Yes. And no. nobody told me. No, no. Okay. Stop. So what are you Stop. talking We're about? Not pregnant. We have a surrogate. Maxie is carrying our child. Who is Maxie? She's your best friend. You couldn't carry our child. She offered to do it for us. We wanted a baby bad enough, so we decided to go ahead with having a surrogate. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I, I don't know, Maxie. I don't know if I want to have a baby, and I definitely don't know you. Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I just thought that... I'm sorry, no, I'm I sorry. Was... No, I just... I, I'm I... sorry. I, I, thought, I don't know what I thought, okay? I don't remember any of this, okay? I... The more you keep talking to me, the more I feel like I can't breathe. Dante. Yeah. Let's switch seats. Thank you.